Now let's add a page break. Page break means that we don't need to use the rest of the part of the page and whatever input we give now we want that input to be inserted on a new separate page. To do so go here and just click on this button which is in the page layout and it says breaks. After clicking on the breaks button it will give us several options like page break, custom, text wrapping, next page, continuous page, even and odd page. So these are the options which we can use in our page, page break. For now we will use this page. As you can see it has left all the part of the previous page and given us a new page on which we can write. This is how we can add a new page. We can also add a new page or page break by going to the insert tab and clicking on this page break. If we want to add a blank page to our document we can simply go to insert tab and click on this blank page button which will add a blank page to our document. This was all about page layout, page breaks and how to insert blank pages to our document. Thank you.